missions gain their World Heritage designation for exhibiting an important interchange of human values through both tangible and intangible aspects of culture. The outstanding universal value of the unique art and architecture inside the missions illustrates the merging of two cultures, the Spanish missionaries and the indigenous peoples which exists in San Antonio's community today. Father Margil de Jesus founded the Queen of Missions, Mission San Jose, in 1720, just south of Mission Valero. Mission Concepcion was originally established in 1716 in East Texas, but was moved to San Antonio in 1731. She is known as the most well-preserved mission with its original dome still intact. These two are the largest of the five San Antonio missions. Indigenous peoples, collectively called Coahuiltecans, Franciscan friars, and Spanish soldiers, established these communities. Mission Concepcion's quarries provided the stone for its own construction and that of Mission San Jose. The church at Mission San Jose has elaborate stonework decorating its facade. These decorations were used as a tool in teaching the Christian faith to the indigenous peoples of the mission. The facade has statues of St. Joseph, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Dominic, St. Anne, and St. Joaquin. In the middle of the facade, surrounded by these saints, stands Our Lady of Guadalupe. She appeared to San Juan Diego, who was an indigenous person, a young man from Desayac, from the um, tribe of Desayac, and she appeared to him in Guadalupe, Mexico. This architectural collaboration represents the merging of the Spanish and Mexican cultures. Mission San Jose also features a window on the right side of the church called the Rose Window. This window is an example of Baroque architecture and presumed to be the first example of this style in America. The friars wanted the mission's decor to be as sophisticated as anything found in New Spain to seem more inviting to the indigenous peoples. The rose itself symbolizes transformation and beauty, beginning as a simple bud and blossoming into a work of natural art. In the same way, the San Jose Mission began as barren land, eventually blossoming into a burgeoning community. Each year on August 15th, Mission Concepcion experiences a double solar illumination during the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. During this illumination, the Virgin Mary's face is lit up along with the portion of the floor below her, due to how the windows above the church's choir loft and dome are built. This, along with the frescoes inside the mission, was another way the missionaries brought the outside in, and created a warm and awe-inspiring space for worship. created the eye of God and that in that one they also included rays from like from the sun and they put a face on it and that was the way of the children being able to connect and say there is God and God is indoors and it's okay for us to be indoors. Ramon Vasquez, the executive director of American Indians and Texas Spanish Colonial Missions, explains the Eye of God fresco, stating, To us it represents the use of our spiritual beliefs that all celestial beings are faces of God. The red path represents our physical existence and the blue path represents our spiritual existence. Our journey in this life is to create a balance between those two paths. In the image, it clearly shows the sun and moon together, representing our belief in a creator and wife, the duality of man and woman together traveling across the sky, acknowledging our belief that celestial beings are the faces of God and that God was Spanish, thus the Spanish face in the center. These are two different viewpoints of this fresco symbolism that still continues to be interpreted in many different ways. 
outsides of both missions would have been covered in frescoes of bright blues, reds, yellows, and oranges. This spectacular show of colors would stand out in the landscape to make the building seem inviting to the potential converts. The culture of the Spanish missionaries and indigenous peoples created new traditions that are still seen today. One of the biggest events happens on December 12th during the celebration of Our Lady of Guadalupe's appearance. We have uh, uh, indigenous or mapachinas that come in and dance for us. And that's a way of calling our attention and saying, this is for you, Mother. Because when there's music and when there is dance, you pray twice. The art, architecture, and heritage practices seen at these missions today reflect the culture of the past. This living landscape is the reason these sites showcase world heritage. <laughs>